Alright guys, many of you would have noticed there's been a new Survivor Missions mod for DayZ. This brings missions to your server and it's really, really good. Um, it's probably the best mod even out there. Or oh, definitely in the top three. I really like this mod. But there's been so many issues with people um, having issues just using it to connect to their server. Now, um, usually it's me. They haven't read the instructions right. If I show you... I've got... Okay. We've got a get up link for this um, mission, <coughs> how to install it. And you can see there's quite a bit here, uh, ignore that bit, but there's quite a bit here. And some of it can get a little bit confusing. So, I'm going to show you, probably within five minutes, just an easy way of what you need to do and not get confused. So, first of all, you need to install this mod to your server. Uh, once you've done that, you need to make sure you have copied the key to your keys folder on your server. Once you've done that, you need to go ahead <coughs> and uh, right. So let me just get into the server quickly. So then, what you need to do is right now you can see mine's got at and it's got load of like numbers. These are the mods. My server reads it via the the mod ID rather than the mod name. But what you'll need to do is go to find at a survival missions or in this case mine is this one find this one where it's got 918 at the end and again this will be where all your mods are installed on your server so you, your main server route. Open it up <coughs> uh, you need to go to server files um, and then first thing you need to go M open up MP missions uh, let me go up here, it's easier up here. Open up the MP Missions uh, folder. With it, That is in, let me go back a few steps. Right, so once you've opened up uh, your at Survivor Missions, you need to go to Server Files, MP Missions. You've got a Survivor Missions module. Copy this. Um, you need to put this complete folder into your MP Missions folder. So, go to my MP Missions folder, Daisy Offline Chinaris Plus, uh, and then you can see here, I've got the folder Survivor Missions module, you need to copy that folder and paste it there, um, it, it were here, within the Daisy Offline Chinaris Plus folder. Once you've done that, you can go into it, uh, and you'll see, start with, you'll have a Missions folder and the Events World Data.c file. Uh, this events will data dot c won't say that it'll say events will data underscore chinaris plus dot c. What you just do is you just need to rename it. Uh, not click into it, but you would rename it to events will data dot c. Get rid of the underscore chinaris plus. You don't need the underscore chinaris plus. And then save that. Then go into your missions folder. Again, that is located MP Missions, Daisy Offline, Charles Plus, Survivor Missions Module. And then you've got a load of missions in here. What you do need to do is you need to edit this Mission H folder. So, uh, I don't use FTP or anything like that. That would make it easier for me. I just download it, open it up with like Notepad or something. Uh, you can see it opens up the file and then... These, uh, here, these files, all these little, not files, but these little um, things, I don't know what you actually call them, but where I've got Daisy offline, this will say, I think it's Survivor Events, it'll say something like that, it won't say Daisy offline, you literally just need to put Daisy offline there, um, but what I will do is I'll copy this and I'll put it in the description so you can uh, copy it yourself and just paste it. Then what you need to do is go back to your server route, find the, uh, the app Survivor Missions, go back to Survivor Files, open up your profile folder, and then you've got a Survivor Missions folder. Again, copy that, go all the way back to your server profile folder, uh, and then in here. Uh, you can see um, I've got some stuff already, uh, but you would 
paste, about to say copy, you paste the surviving mission folder so it looks like that. Once you've done that, you can go into it. You won't have this cleanup folder to start with, that automatically generates, I think, when you connect to the server. Uh, but what you will have, you'll have these two bottom uh, files. So, uh, this mission settings.c, you need to go into it and edit two lines. And the two lines are these two here. And two that I've got highlighted. Uh, you need to edit again the this bit where it says Daisy offline. This again will say Survivor Events or something like that. You just need to put Daisy offline. And again, I will copy these and put these in the description so you can just copy and paste. Um, save it all. Make sure you've saved every little step that you do. Then what you need to do, if it's not already done so, make sure you allow file patches on your server. Um, but what you do need to do is make sure when you start that, and again, runs numbers, so you also probably say at survivor missions, you need to make sure it's on server mod only, uh, not on client mod where all the rest of your mods may be. Um, make sure it just lo loads from server mod, save it. That's it. Um, if you're using the DZSA launcher, uh, when trying to connect to your server, you may need to wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes for it to update because it does take a little bit to update. Uh, but if you're using the, the normal official launcher, it should be ready to go. Um, yeah, that is it. Uh, 